I'm so proud to work at the largest urban university in Oregon and the most diverse. And that diversity includes students with disabilities, whether they are studying here on our campus or at a distance. Many years ago when I did my dissertation for my doctorate, it was on tactual maps, which are maps for the blind. And I mention that because I think oftentimes people don't think about the kinds of resources and tools that are needed by all of our students. I'm Angel Chesimit. I'm a graduate student here at PSU and I'm also um, totally blind. Uh, my name is Stephen Brown. Um, sign name is Stephen Brown. I'm a deaf individual. I'm um, a student here at PSU and I have been for some time now. Uh, my name is Christine Getman and I studied community health education at Portland State. Uh, I still need to finish my psychology degree and I'll be going back to do that very soon. Hi, I'm Terry Blosser, and I'm a student at Portland State. I'm a senior, and uh, my major is history. I use several different com accommodations. I use what we call e-text, and I also utilize something called real-time captioning, and I also utilize something called the FM monitor system. I use a screen reader, and so I need um, documents in a format that my screen reader can access, which means usually a Word document or some PDF documents. So if there is something that's posted and it's not accessible, then that means that I'm only getting like 20% of what's required for that course. I feel like teachers need to maybe be a little more open-minded and understand that need for closed captions. You know, I feel like it, it happens so often for me that I am, I'm watching the interpreter in one place and then there's a TV screen or something else I have to follow um, that's in a, a separate placement with the interpreter. And I, it's like a tennis match. You have to look back and forth. If I'm watching the screen and it has the captions, I can see their face. I can see what's happening. I can see how the voice coincides with the facial expression and the emotion. And I understand all the language that's happening. You know, with the President Obama speech, for example, when they were talking about the health care reform passing, you know, that was, that was a historical moment. That was this huge moment in time, and you knew there was this sense of, of inspiration, and people had that first moment of hearing what had happened, and it would impact all our futures, and it was this important moment in history, and I missed that. I wouldn't change a lot about my experience of using online classes, um, however I would ask that instructors be aware of a time difference for completing online tasks. It takes a little bit longer for me to navigate through the website, as well as completing long written assignments and essays. I can do pretty much what any other student can, but it might take me just a little bit longer because I'm actually listening. Whereas when you use your eyes, you're actually scanning and, um, and that is a lot faster. In my opinion, if a student with a disability discloses that they need a specific accommodation or some sort of arrangement for completing the coursework, um, I believe that is opening the door for the instructor to actually ask questions and make sure that they can serve the student um, appropriately. It's really important for me as a student with a visual impairment to have open communication with instructors in order for me to be successful in a class just like any other student. We're not asked to be treated any different from any other student. We follow the course syllabus just like every other student. We are told, you know, you have to read a hundred you know, pages or whatever before the next class. Trust me, I have to do two times, three times, possibly even four times as much work to be able to read those hundred pages compared to a normal sighted student. So it's a real challenge, a real challenge for somebody like myself. As a community of scholars here at PSU, it's important that we're all committed to creating learning environments that are accessible for all learners. And certainly navigating those online courses and digital media requires us to use resources on campus like the Disability Resource Center in Smith Student Union, that the staff uh, at the Disability Resource Center are consultants and helpers to faculty as they make these 
very important decisions about how to construct the learning environment, what sorts of tools to use, and how to remove barriers to learning in that classroom. So it's, it's just so important that our faculty utilize all the resources that are available to them here at PSU to help both them as instructors and, and scholars to be successful, but especially to help our students to be successful in the classroom. We're really doing a whole rethink of Portland State University's curriculum and we have a great opportunity as we use more and more technology in order to be able to think about the ways in which our students learn and be able to provide them with the tools that they need. So my hope is that all of us, faculty in particular, but all of us really take into account the kinds of things that we need to do to make this a great accessible place for students.